You know we're not done talking about these record breakers, comic fam. There was a lot of them. Buckle up. These are the one-off sales, the record breakers, the honorable mentions that didn't make our hot 10 list. They're all right here, courtesy of Key Collector. Tom, hit him with number 10. Batman 423, debuting in 1988, McFarlane, the Todd father, being asked to do a quick Batman cover. He had to do it rapido, and he sure did. He made the cape most of the cover, not realizing that he would make one of the most classic Batman covers of all time. And I love how you got that out of him during your interview, that this was basically a rush job. Him making the cape really big so he didn't have to draw as much, and it became an iconic key issue. There's no other key significance to this book, yet a CGC 6.5 makes the list. It sold for $91 back in July, and it's up 68%, now selling for $153. Jem foreshadowed it. Key Collector Comics is the trusted app that we get so much comic book data from. And these 10 books that made our list are sourced from a much larger list that exceed 25, 30 books traditionally every single week. Use code TOM101, unlock a free two-week subscription of the app. The majority of the app, 95 plus percent of it is free. But if you use that code, you support what we do and you get access to all of it. Better your hunt. And next at the list at number nine, we got RoboCop issue number one making it. This is an oversized comic that is so difficult to secure in high grade. And I think there's a lot of people that don't realize that this hit sci-fi movie debuted in this oversized book. We found out back in September of 2020 that MGM is creating a screenplay for a new RoboCop movie, or it could just be a huge RoboCop fan that scooped up this CGC 9.8. It sold for $350 back in 2022 when MGM started developing the screenplay. It's up 58%, now selling for $552. I know I'm crossing my fingers and my robotic toes that this gets greenlit, but we do not know guarantees yet. Next at the list, at number eight, we have Avengers number three from 1964, a classic battle between the Avengers versus the Hulk and Submariner, baby. You know, I love it every time Namor makes the list and we have a CGC 5.5 to report on. It sold for $784 back in 2020. Tom, collectors are expecting to see this scene sometime in the MCU. What's it selling for now? An increase of over $200, an increase of 28% landing at one Thousand. Next at the list, at number seven, a very strong key book because it's the first reprint of multiple blue chip comic books. We have Marvel Tales debuting in 1964, issue number one. That's right, it's a reprint of all the first appearances. Amazing Fantasy 15, Incredible Hulk 1, you have Tales to Astonish 35. That one's the first appearance of Ant-Man in costume. We even get a reprinting of Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. We even get the 13-page reprint of Tales of Suspense 39, first Iron Man, as well as pages from issue 48 of the same run, which is Ditko drawing Iron Man in the classic red and gold armor. A CGC 8.0 came to market and sold just last week for $1,030. It's up now 46% since then, selling for $1,500. At the list at number six, we have a underrated, underappreciated Punisher key. This is the first solo series featuring Frank Castle. And we have the Punisher limited series issue number one, but a special version, a newsstand 9.8 to talk about. With an amazing Mike Zek cover, I'm glad to see this one hit the list. We need some more Punisher love. A CGC 9.8 came to market. It sold for $1,900 back in January, and it's up now 26%, selling for $2,395. Now, I think this book was spiking aggressively, and then with the absence of Punisher in 2020, the reintroduction with the new logo, not the best press for our vigilante. However, with the integration of the Netflix Marvel shows on Disney Plus, Charlie Cox reprising his role as Daredevil, Wilson Fisk debuting in Hawkeye. All these combined give a lot of hopes for our defenders as well as the Punisher. Yeah, it wasn't looking too good for Punisher for a while, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Moving on halfway through the list, coming in at number five, we have a DC book that's always been sought after by collectors, Detective Comics 359, first appearance of Barbara Gordon as the Batgirl. 
Debuting in 1967, the first appearance of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon cast as Batgirl for HBO Max. We have Leslie Grates featured in The Heights. This is an actress who's going to kill the role, and that's causing this book to get the attention it's deserved for quite a long time. A 7.0 back in March, going for 22.50 is up 33%. It's going to break the 3K marker, an increase of over $740, selling for 2,992 hot damn comic fan. Which brings us to the next book on our list, number four. We have X-Men, issue number eight, the first appearance of Eunice the Untouchable. Creating those force fields, but more importantly, the first time that we see Iceman appear to be comprised entirely out of ice instead of snow. Or is it just because it's single-digit X-Men? I'm going to say all of the above. A CGC 9.0 sold for $1,200 just last year. It's up now 70%, selling for $2,040. We're seeing a lot of investment in single digit, not as sought out after keys, but keys nonetheless from the uncanny run. Why do you think this is happening? Let me know in the comment section below. It'll answer you to win this invincible number one, what not Omni-Man variant. And at the list at number three, we have Avengers number four from 1964, Captain America joining the Avengers, being featured at Marvel Comics for the first time since he was frozen in that ice. And most notably known for being the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America. Also the first cameo appearance of Baron Zemo. A CGC 8.5 sold for $8,400 back in 2021. It's up now 25% selling for $10,500. Breaking the $10,000 marker. Congratulations Steve Rogers at the list at number two. We have Journey into Mystery annual number one from 1965. And I suspect we're going to see a lot more record-breaking sales due to trickle-down effect because, brace yourself, this sale is crazy. Plus, we just got our first glimpse of Zeus portrayed by Russell Crowe in the Thor Love and Thunder trailer, which aired today as of this recording. A CGC 9.2 just broke a crazy record. It sold for $3,000 in 2019. It's up 240%, now selling for $10,200. This is the first battle between Thor and Hercules, the first appearance of both Hercules and Zeus. I want to know what the community thinks in the comment section below about this trailer, about Jane Foster Thor, the comedy that seems to be so on point that's got the community hyped to no end, except for the toy leak of what gore is going to look like. I got to know your thoughts and I want to remind you how you can support the channel. ComicTom101.com, link in the description to join the May Mystery Mail Call box. One per box, we're sending out a starlight cover by Ben Templesmith. The first appearance of Stormfront in Boys Number 7, a reprint from the classic Dynamite run. Link in the description. Support what we do. And Jem, hit him with the number one book this week that almost made the hot 10. We've got some Bronze Age goodness, a number one issue, and an Adam Warlock key all combined into one with Marvel premiere issue one. From 1972, the rebirth of him who gets renamed the Warlock by High Evolutionary gets an entirely new costume design that we all know and love as well as a gem that would later be found to be the Soul Infinity Stone. Will Poulter is cast, meaning that we expect to see this cosmic hero soon, and this book at a 9.8 just came to market, last selling in September for $2,500, up 212%, an increase of $5,200,000 landing at a grand total of 7,800 hot damn comic fam. What a week. We got to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Hit the like and subscribe. Go follow Gem Mint on YouTube. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Join myself, Gem Mint, and all my homies on the best new place to buy and sell collectibles. Whatnot, available for both Androids and iPhones. They vet their sellers so you know that you have appropriate grading happening, you have appropriate shipping happening, as well as you can attend auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long that start as little as a dollar. Join myself and the rest of the crew every Wednesday for Whatnot Wednesdays. We pack the house from 2 to 9 p.m. Link in the description and take a look at these two other videos we made them for you the comic book you're welcome pick either one we out